Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and it is a winter wonderland out here, guys. The ice storm came through last night, but we've got round two coming tomorrow. Let's walk around the ridge and see how much damage we got. Get into the woods here, come out from the log cabin, and the little creek here is flowing. Beautiful. We only have we only have creeks uh, whenever the uh, rain comes. Just a small little creek you can see. Beautiful. Same thing goes all the way down here. Isn't that just pretty? down but let's get up into the field see if we can see any ice damage this ice storm could have been a lot worse now there is another storm coming so we got to watch out for that um, but I don't know what is in store look at this <laughs> hanging down Ooh, beautiful I, oh yeah there's tree so this tree right here was down from the last ice storm. And there's a tree right there that's down now. Let's get over there. Ice is, ice is dis destructive, guys. It really can do a number on some uh, evergreens, some uh, cedar and pines. Let's get down here and check this one out. And uh, yeah, the water, we are full of water. Goodness gracious. Lots, lots of water everywhere. And it's, it's about 28 degrees right now. And uh, so it's, and it wasn't too cold leading up to this ice storm. So the ground is, is not that cold, but uh, it sure can do some damage. Check this tree out. Here we go. Wow, boom. Must've been some winds too associated with it. Crack that sucker right there all through there i think i see a few more down up there but let's get over here and uh, this is where we're going to put the bees today guys we've got to get in this area here and uh, clear out a little bit of land and uh, see if we can get these bees moved down while the weather is cold you know it's wet windy 
and uh, the bees don't fly. So I'll seal them up in there and get them moved down. I'm gonna put them in this little alcove right here. And uh, that'll allow me to still bush hog the field. Here we go, yes. We'll get them all lined up right in this area right here and everything should be good. Here we go, another cedar down. These cedars are so susceptible to this ice. Look at this. Push this thing right down. Tore that big old root ball right out of the ground. Hey guys, that's poison ivy. That is a huge poison ivy running all the way up that cedar. Ooh. There you go. That one didn't break yet though, that's good. Lots. If the sun was out right now, guys, man, would it be beautiful. Oh my goodness. All these trees, the camera's probably not doing it justice. All these trees are covered in ice. And if the sun was, the blue sky was behind them glistening, that ice, oh, talking about a winter wonderland. That's what you'd be seeing. Oh, here we go. This pine's hanging over, creating a canopy through the woods. Beautiful icicles on the leaves. Such a pretty sight. But man, look at this. As I drive my Kubota through here, it's so pretty. Well, luckily it's not too bad. Uh, we got a few trees that are leaning over and we got a couple broken ones, but uh, as long as it doesn't get any worse today, we'll be fine. We have not lost power yet. That's the big thing. I, my generator was tested out and running, but we did not lose power last night and we haven't lost it today. But uh, who knows as the power lines, things start to sway with the wind. Um, now we got that, that storm coming tonight. I'm, it, it's supposed to be worse than this one right here. And I've got to work tomorrow morning, so hopefully I can drive to work safely in it if we even have work. But I work at a steel mill, so we hardly ever shut down, you know. So um, the, the animals, the good news, guys, the rabbits are fine. All 14 of our rabbits are fine. Uh, we still haven't moved them yet. Oh, Elvis and uh, um, Goldie and uh, Sylvia are all doing fine. The, the chickens are doing good. But let's go look at the bees. The five bee colonies are covered in ice. They're totally encased in it. And it, it guys, it's still freezing so that it hasn't started to melt. Uh, but looking at each of them, looks like we may have an issue with Hatmaker colony. We can see here, just totally encased in ice. The entrance is cased in ice. Everything is an ice. 
we can see the straps are still holding look at this ice on top of here yep couple dead bees in the front of uh 41.36 but i think they're doing fine but we come over here to hat maker and i had a lot of dead bees sitting out here on the ground but let's check up under hat maker we have a screen bottom board and guys we see dead bees not not a significant amount but enough to be concerned because when we go look under the other ones we'll see there is none we look up under 41.36 bees and we see hardly any dead bees and that's what i want to see and that's how all the other colonies look too there are tons of bees up in there so hat maker colony please make it through the winter i can see it's already starting to mist and sleet again uh, we're going to take advantage of this though take advantage of this cold weather and we're going to button up these bees and get them moved down to the new uh, ridge apiary you know we're moving them off the uh, the old ridge property onto the new ridge property which adjoins the old one you know it's not too far away so let's get down there and a clear spot on the field edge right there in front of the log cabin get it all cleared out and hopefully the weather allows us to get these um, bundled up get them put on the trailer and get them moved down today if not we'll have to take care of it a little bit later but let's go ahead and get that property prepared right here is where we're going to put them and you can see the log home in the background there there's this little area right here we're going to clear out this brush and there's the tree stand right over there is where the barn's going to be and this is going to be the livestock field pond over there so eventually the, the bees in the apiary will have a pond to get water um, but this is a really good spot i think right here so we're going to clear this out right now and get it prepped so when we can move them uh, colonies down they'll already have a spot off of the main field so when i bush hog and stuff i don't have to get into the apiary so let's get this cleared out now in the old apiary i had a, a large distance between each colony now colonies can be two inches apart i just had them apart like that so i could work on one and not have the other one so close to me and uh, it also allowed me to mow in between them but having them over here i'm going to put those pallets right next to each other so i'll still be able to walk in between them but they're only going to be a couple feet apart instead of about six or eight feet apart so let's go ahead and start clearing out the brush and then we will get them moved frozen ice it just throws shards everywhere so now I'll go ahead and use a chainsaw I'll cut some of the smaller brush get that cleared up Woo! farm boss ms261 steel love it <laughs> We can see we have the area for our new apiary nice and clear. I uh, should be able to put five colonies side by side in here fairly easy. And uh, I know it needs to be leveled out a little bit and uh, all this brush behind it acts as a windbreak as well. So the sun comes up in the east, hits the colonies, warms them up, they fly, oh, make good honey for us. 
In the afternoon, in the summertime, when it's so, so hot, all these trees will block the evening sun. So I think this is a great idea. So let's go get our bees. My, how quickly plans change. When you are at the mercy of the weather, you better be flexible. Came back to the camper to get the Kubota and the 14 foot trailer hooked up so we can start moving our bee colonies. And it started sleeting and freezing rain. Stayed inside for a little bit and hoping it would clear up, but the second wave has hit us. Guys, look at this on the ground here. That right there is just since um, coming back in from a uh, uh, cutting the, the sawing and the uh, the weed eating the area for the apiary so <laughs> doesn't look like I'm gonna get the bees moved today now this second wave is supposed to come through all night and I got to work in the morning uh, but there is a chance maybe they'll let me off tomorrow again uh, based on this weather you know I am not uh, I'm, I'm a day personnel so hopefully uh, maybe they'll let me off we'll, we'll see uh, if I have to come in or not uh, but so we will do our best to get them bees moved. I want to get them moved when it's cold, so uh, we will check back with you. Who knows, tomorrow when I come back, this may be even more a winter wonderland. So let's see you tomorrow. Whoo, guys, we got the second wave of ice and sleet come through. And you can see on the ground here, it is, this is not snow, this is sleet and ice. It is crunchy and it is everywhere. Uh, more trees are down. If you didn't see our ramblings video, we had two ramblings videos that uh, took you a walking tour around for the first wave and second wave. I'll leave a, a link to Ridge Life Ramblings right up there. Go check out those walk arounds. You'll see all kinds of ice damage here on the ridge. So we are back and I was supposed to go to work today and I got called off. They said the roads are too bad. They're going to go ahead and stay shut down. So I need to get out here, finish getting these bees moved uh, while it's nice and cold. They're all bundled around the queen, a big giant ball. I got to move them carefully so they don't fall down and, and expose her. And, uh, but I also have to close up the opening so they don't come flying out. I know it's cold, but they could still come out and get me. So I've got a plan for that. Let's get the uh, trailer hooked up, get it loaded up, uh, get it brought over to the apiary and start moving the bees from the old barn location to the new field apiary. Since the colonies are on pallets, I could use the tractor with the forks and set them up on uh, the trailer, but I'm gonna try to be as gentle and careful as possible. I'm just gonna slowly work them by hand up onto the trailer. Now, it is wet and it is icy on the entrance, so tape will not stick to cover it up. So what I'm gonna do is take a rag and some tape and um, cover up the entrance tape around there to hold the cover on, hopefully keep the bees from flying out. Now there's still some top uh, entrances they could come out, but I'm hoping it's too cold and they'll just stay balled up. There's a bee right there, but that's a dead one. That <laughs> scared me for a second. All right, let's get this. I'm just gonna put that right there and then I'm gonna grab the tape and see if I can use this shipping tape just, just to keep it all the way around keep this on because it's taped to itself if you know what i mean so hopefully that will secure, secure it on there and keep them bees from flying out look at how thick the ice is over this strap that is at least a half inch thick solid ice right there oh my goodness it might be a little heavier than i thought but i'm gonna start walking Ugh. I gotta get it unfrozen from the ground first. There we go, oh my goodness, that's pretty heavy. So I'm just gonna slowly walk it up onto the trailer. I don't know if I've got room to get all five in one trip, but I'm gonna do my best. Just gotta slowly start to walk this up without disturbing the cluster of bees. That is the plan. Just get it slowly on here. 
hopefully that don't start flying out the top hole because that ah uh, that would be bad i gotta get it up get it up on top of the here we go oh it's sliding come on bees don't don't fall down this oh that is slick so now it's got to push push up oh my goodness i'm gonna have to lift <laughs> this is oh there we go oh my goodness these there's probably 60 pounds of honey in there with the bees and of course all this ice it's a lot heavier than i thought it was going to be i may end up needing the tractor but i'm going to give it a old country go i'll tell you that all right now let's see if i can just slide it out There we go. We got it up, guys. Woo! First one on the trailer. I got all the entrances taped up. Hopefully, uh, that tape holds it so cold out here. It might not. But I'm going to do a time lapse of getting them all loaded on the trailer. Hopefully, I can get all five. I maybe only get four. I have to come back for the last one. But uh, let's make it happen. Looks like we're gonna do this the hard way guys i was pushing family bees up the third colony and they all started coming out the top entrance so uh, i had to get the suit on let's see if we can get these up without me getting stung yeah, under this top lid here there's an opening right there and that's where they can come out so whew, i'm hoping i can do this without too many coming on me of course i've got i've got my suit on there there we go and this is right there's where they come out let's see if i can push There we are. Come up. Just gotta get them up to the top before they get too too crazy on me. See them coming out now. There we are. We are up. Slid back. All right. I'm gonna be able to get all five on there because the front two I put sideways. The pallets are small enough, so we'll get all five in one trip. Oh, there's bees. That is how you move a quarter million bees. I'm hoping there's a quarter million bees in there. Uh, about 50,000 in each colony. Woo! Only family bees sent bees out at me. Actually, I see more coming out, right? No, it's family bees. Still sending them out. There's a few of them out there. But now we've got to gently take the trailer through the woods and to their new location on the new ridge apiary in the field. This is the end of an era guys an end of the era of the main ridge barn apiary next to the pond next to the old barn but we'll have a new barn new pond for them very very soon so you guys stick around make sure if you haven't subscribed to ridge life subscribe now it's free hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out and guys on ramblings that's what we talk about all this stuff and watch me do all the bloopers and have the fun stuff because we do the walk arounds back um, behind the scenes footage. So if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life Ramblings, make sure you do so. So let's get these bees to their new location.
that was harrowing my goodness but we made it here safe and sound and i remember which bee colonies are which and which order i put them on the trailer so i can get them off so they'll be in the same order uh in this new apiary uh, so the names will match the colony and i'll know which queen goes to what hive so let's slowly get them off i get my suit back on because i know family bees is coming after me See if I can do this without slipping and falling on my butt. That's not what I gotta do. Come on. Now, I slide pretty easy on this decking, but once I get on the ground there, not gonna be as easy. Hey, don't. Ooh, I hear the bees. <laughs> I hit that bump and I hear the bees. I gotta make sure I don't let them come flying down here all at one time, that's for sure. Come on here. Slowly but surely. Slowly, guys. Come on. Slowly. Perfect. Good job. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. The snow is helping me out. Get them. This is gunslinger bees, the last one. Sorry if my mic was covered up there. Uh oh there's bees there's bees right there man i hear the bees going crazy in there my mic may have been covered up when i first moved them but get them slid over into their location right there lined up all right let's get to number four which will be barn bees no, actually family bees i was no barn bees no guys that was barn bees that got me earlier this is family bees next i was mistaken earlier guys that was barn bees that flew out at me family bees is the next one down so barn bees which has always been my hot hive was the one coming out at me so um we are moving family bees now and then barn bees will be the ones after this and that's the ones you gotta watch out for so let's go ahead and get family bees out now i can hear them flying i can definitely hear them flying or buzzing i should say not flying i heard them flying that's no bad thing <laughs> And I'm gonna put these colonies right next to each other, which is a lot different than I had in my old apiary. Slowly. Okay, here we go. So, a lot of professional beekeepers are probably cringing right now, <laughs> going, what is he doing? Now for the hot ones, and I can already see bees on the outside of it. This is gonna be a little interesting barn bees not family bees barn bees which are always been the hot ones come on let me tighten this up just a little bit oh that's frozen there we are come on gotta be careful not to let it come flying down on me if that thing busted open whoa how bad would that be gotta get this over there we are Oh, yeesh. All, right. All right, coming down, Barnby. Come on, be careful. There, oh yeah. Good job. Another. Not coming out on me yet. All right. Whew. Let's get turned around. lined up there's a root right there i gotta get over all right pushed over i got the last two colonies removed without incident but they are starting to fly out it is warming up a little bit but it's still below freezing normally bees don't fly to about 55 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and pull well, they're flying out right now i'm gonna pull off the covers and then we'll uh, finish up okay so watch let's see if i get stung i have my, my equipment off so let's see if i can get these covers off here without getting without getting stung 
Okay, here's the, the hot one right there. No, I don't see any coming out of there yet. All right. Huh? My battery died on me as I was pulling the last covers off there, but I promise no bees came out and stung me. Otherwise, you see my face all swole up. They are pretty much snug. I am happy with how things turned out. I gotta come back and level them out a little bit, put a little dirt under them um, to make sure everything's nice and secure. But uh, sun rises in the east, sets in the west. They'll be protected from the afternoon sun in the summertime. They'll be able to fly out and do their thing in the morning. And that's exactly what I want, guys. So. If you enjoyed today's video of moving a quarter million bees in an ice storm, more to come on Ridge Life. We are going to be building a barn, clearing this land right here, building a barn, and then eventually building a barn dominium, a wood barn dominium off grid. So if you're interested in any of that, guys, I sure appreciate it. a big old thumbs up on this video. Come back for more. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.